Before things that tweet were a thing, there were only a few ways to get your message out to the world. You could stand on a corner with a megaphone, write a letter to the editor of your local newspaper, or if you wanted to give people a crick in their neck, you could hire a skywriting plane. Well now, cloud yelling has gotten an upgrade, going from the letter stripe to the type. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. It's been said that more astronauts have been in space and walked on the moon than there have been skywriters flying airplanes. Now, modern technology has transformed them from skywriters into sky typers. And one family has kept this acrobatic art form alive and thriving. I flew in a regular plane to Chino, California to meet Steven Stinnis, third generation skywriter and innovator of today's digital sky typing capability. How long has Skytypers been in existence? It's been around for 80 years. Started in the late 30s with my grandfather, and I'm third generation. How has it evolved over the decades? Originally, it was with one aircraft. Each aircraft would form a letter by twisting and turning, like you would a pen writing down on a piece of paper. We write it upside down and backwards, like in a mirror image, so you can see it right side up. It's about three minutes to form a letter. Each letter is about 2,500 feet tall. It's massive, you can see 10 to 15 miles away. My grandfather was like, there's gotta be a faster way to do this. So we came up with the process of multiple aircraft in a formation flight that everyone puffs at once, for example, would create an eye in the sky. Now we're doing sky typing and it's done every four seconds a letter is created. Stephen showed me the evolution of their first onboard computer system. We would go through and write and pull punch different letters in here, and there's photoelectric cells in here that read the dots, and they would send a signal to create a tone, and it would open up a valve, which would create a puff. And it would open up these series of puffs that would form giant letters in the sky. Wow. And that's how it was done. That's in the 60s, and then what do we have here now? We're a wireless network, computer system. That's the beauty of the innovation today. It's digital. We're not going to get misfires or mistones or guy forgot to puff or not puff. Mm -hmm. It's a digital signal and everything's automated. Mm -hmm. Within seconds, I could create a message, load it, and we can go online and we can type it. Steven showed me one of his five planes in the hangar. So the plane basically is the like the nozzle of the printer. Correct. World's largest typewriter in the sky. Huh. Get, a, get a seat. Wow. But when you're in this plane in the sky, do you miss the old school writing as I opposed do. to just the typing? I still do the sky writing. With technology, talent, and precision, we can still be wowed every day.